Pero sana nga, may mag- experience calamities and even war and make them cool again. DOST ITDI has been preparing for an innovative ecosystem for new knowledge and technology to thrive and help make us ready for industry 4.0. DOST ITDI aims to achieve kaayusan and to certain the future or kinabukasan through its initiatives and help businesses in every Filipino adapt to COVID-19 under the new normal. State-of-the-art facilities are being established. Construction of the Simulation Packaging Testing Laboratory (SPTL) and Green Packaging Laboratory (GPL) is ongoing. At the SPTL, stress conditions that affect products during transport are simulated that can help mitigate losses during distribution. While produced products can be processed and packed in a green packaging laboratory, AMSEN or the Advanced Manufacturing Center (DOST's 3D Printing Technology Center) is a joint project with Metals Industry Research and Development Center (MIRDC). ITDI focuses on developing multiple 3D printing materials from local materials to reduce cost. Halal Food Research and Development Facility. With this facility in place, the institute hopes to develop new food products that are compliant to halal standards and as well support DOST as it responds to Republic Act Number no. 10817 or the Philippine Halal Export Development and Promotion Act. Enhancement of the competence and capabilities of the National Metrology Laboratory of the Philippines. Expertise and facilities are being upgraded and construction of laboratory facilities for metrology and chemistry and biology are now ongoing. It is envisioned that the animal will provide the country with credible measurements and traceability in the fields of physical, chemical, and biological metrology. And with the emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic, DOST response has been decisive. With the support of President Duterte and the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases, the DOST will establish the Virology Science and Technology Institute of the Philippines, or VIP, to be constructed at the new Clark Economic Zone in Capas, Tarlac. The VIP shall be pursuing priority virology research and developing diagnostic kits, therapeutics, and vaccines for diseases caused by viruses, where DOST ITDI will have a critical function. From laying the groundworks for science and technology in the country, the Industrial Technology Development Institute of the Department of Science and Technology, through the years, which turned 119 last July, has been consistently providing innovations to industry to help make them competitive, emerging as a credible industry partner. The Institute has been instrumental as well in mitigating hazards improving the lives of disaster victims and communities to rise again. With so much optimism with this cooperation and bridging of talents and expertise, we look forward to enhance science, technology, innovation, competitiveness, and the emergence of new research and development capabilities that hopefully will translate into new products and services that meet the current future needs of our nation and the people. Finite element analysis a key component of modeling and simulations is a modern tool for product development and research in various industries. It is one of the missing links between academe and industry. Training students and even professionals in this area will give a big boost in their competency and a stepping stone to achieving a bigger goal of advancement in various fields. With this big potential, FIATI decided to partner with MSC Indo-Pacific to train the next breed of students and professionals in FEA before their deployment. This partnership led to MSC Software awarding FIATI the Center for Finite Element Analysis in the Philippines. This opens the door for leveling up the skills of students and professionals and gives them the advantage to work locally and abroad. The agreement also led to the development of a comprehensive training program patterned after MSC Software's actual training program abroad. The program has been divided into three categories, basic, intermediate, and advanced. In the basic part, trainees will learn the theory of FEA together with basic problem solving and applications using MSC Patran, 
Nastran, and Apex. In the intermediate course, there is a track trainee can select which includes fatigue, thermal, and damage tolerance. Trainees will both learn the theory and actual application using other software packages of MSc, such as MSc Fatigue and Thermal. The last set of courses are designed for the most advanced users who have shown their proficiency in the previously mentioned courses. Such courses include multi-body dynamics, aeroelasticity, computational fluid dynamics, acoustics, non-linear analysis, and generative design. Upon completion of any of the courses, a certification will be issued jointly by FIATI and MSC. With the partnership, MSC Software will endorse successful candidates for job placement locally and abroad through its partners. And so, we all invite you to join our upcoming training program. Interested individuals may fill up the survey at the end of this webinar series. See you there! Everybody, welcome to the ceremonial, ceremonial MOU signing of the Industrial Technology Development Institute, the Finite Element Institute of the Philippines, Tiati University, and National University to promote finite element analysis in the industry and the academe. I'll be your host for this afternoon session Roland Andrew Cruz from DOST ITDI. To start things off, we will begin the ceremony with a prayer to be followed by the national anthem. Lord of wisdom, source of intelligence, we welcome you to this auspicious gathering an august moment for the pursuit of knowledge that is offered for the glory of your name. We do not wish to ask you more than just you joining us today, but we look forward to your heavenly grace, to amplify the desire for truth, to look up for and become prudent to learning. Keep us grounded in your love and mercy, as we traverse a challenging path to keeping the inclination of understanding. You and your most awe-inspiring creation. Be with us, O Lord, and descend your spirit on us to maintain an earnest desire, the knowledge, truth, and understanding you, the guide of the wise, the stronghold of the learned. This we ask through Christ, our Lord. Amen.
open this uh, ceremonial MOU signing among the different institutions. Let us welcome the director of the Industrial Technology Development Institute, Dr. Annabel V. Briones. Good afternoon to each one of you. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Uh, I hope everyone is safe and doing well. Our distinguished guest, uh, DOST Secretary Honorable Fortunato T. De La Peña, DOST Undersecretary for R&D, Dr. Ruena Cristina Guevara, a former ITDI Director and DOST Undersecretary, Dr. Rogerio Panlasigi, a Balik Scientist and Finite Element uh, Analysis Expert, Dr. V Vincent D. Reyes, uh, Dr. Sraida Ang, ITDI Deputy Director for ATS. Dr. Christine Marie Montesa, ITDI Deputy Director for R&D, ITDI colleagues. To our partners, the Finite Element uh, Institute of the Philippines, or FI, FEIP, represented by Dr. Ria Canlas. From the Fiati University, uh, we have Dr. Jess Gopez, also a former ITDI official. Uh, from the National University, we have Dr. Renato Carlos Ermita. To other officials from uh, FEIP, FIATI, and National University, I am pleased to welcome you to this virtual ceremonial MOU signing. First and foremost, thank you for agreeing to this partnership. It is an honor to participate in this quadripartite collaboration initiated to promote and make the finite element analysis process known. It is indeed great to have skilled and driven partners to work with towards the goals of this collaboration. All of us were able to agree on the roles and obligations of our respective institutions. On our end, our primary goal is to provide venues for training as the needs arise, to provide access to the software that we have here, ITBI, and promote the finite element analysis uh, simulation to our customers and other partners. We would also like to provide the necessary expertise to complement finite element uh, analysis. To National University, Dr. Ermita, and Piatti University, Dr. Gopez, Thank you for agreeing to promote the use of the finite element analysis simulation in your respective campuses and approve the possible use of venues and software for training and testing. Additionally, for the initiative to design and conduct basic and advanced training programs for the finite element analysis topic. To Dr. Vicente D. Reyes, FEA or finite element uh, analysis expert and Balik scientist, my sincerest appreciation for the support in pushing through to this collaboration. I also express my gratitude to the FEIP president, Dr. Ria Canlas, for her guidance in spearheading this uh, collaboration. Your commitment to providing us with your expertise on the uh, FEA simulation technology is indeed genuinely commendable. Thank you everyone for your ending support and dedication to this partnership. We look forward to doing activities such as national conferences, 
our social civic activities and promotional engagements. May this one be productive and fruitful. Again, good afternoon to everyone. Thank you very much, Dr. Annabel. And now uh, let's hear the message of support mula po sa tatay ng Department of Science and Technology, our very own Secretary, Secretary Fortunato T. De Peña. Warmest greetings to the heads of the organizations signing this Memorandum of Understanding, to my co-workers in government, guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. First of all, I would like to commend your efforts towards the sharing of knowledge and expertise that can result in innovative solutions and insights to the many challenges we face. I hope this sharing and collaboration will benefit not only your organization but various sectors as well as the academe, industry, and society in general. This Memorandum of Understanding will hopefully equip our students, engineers, scientists, and researchers with a powerful digital technology that can improve the way we design or produce things, that is through the use of finite element analysis or FEA. With finite element analysis, researchers can predict a design's structural behavior and integrity while visually analyzing how this product or design would react under stress in the real world. Finite element analysis will be a valuable tool in analyzing the robustness and efficiency of complex designs that are planned to be developed using additive manufacturing or other manufacturing technologies. Aside from this type of analysis, uh, finite element analysis also can find widespread applications in fluid dynamics and heat transfer. For industry, this simulation and modeling capabilities can improve product development, thereby saving costs and hastening a product's path towards commercialization. I hope that with this partnership, your common goals will be realized. I also hope that this exchange of expertise will produce highly skilled researchers who will become the trainers of the next batch of learners. This way, we will continue to harness the benefits derived from this tool. Congratulations to all of you. This Memorandum of Understanding will be another vehicle of making science serve the people. Maraming salamat at mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat. Thank you very much, our very own Secretary, Secretary Fortunato T. De La Peña. Maraming salamat po, uh, Secretary and Dr. Annabel. Before we proceed, of course, with the messages from our partners, let us acknowledge all our VIPs who are present here in uh, this Zoom uh, meeting. And we would like to thank you for finding time to be with us uh, in this uh, momentous occasion. Uh, First off, let's uh, acknowledge from the National University, Dr. Rachel Edita O. Rojas, the Vice President for Research and Development, Engineer Joseph Retumban, the OIC Director for Center for Resilient Philippines, Mr. Adolfo J. Aran Jr., Senior Director for Marketing and Resource Development, Mr. Manolito Octaviano, OIC Director, of Center for Research and the members of the faculty of the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. Also here with us today is the Executive Vice President of National University, Dr. Rosarto Manuel. From our colleagues from FIATI, the uh, President of FIATI University, Dr. Adolfo Jesus R. Gopes. The Director of the Office of Research and Development, Dr. Rogelio Pandasigi. The CEO and Vice Chairman of Piatti University, Mr. Francisco A. Segovia. 
course, with us here today is the president of the National uh, University, Dr. Renato Carlos H. Ermita. With us here also today is a Balik scientist and our FEA expert and the Vice President of FEIP, Dr. Vicente D. Reyes. Our colleagues from FEIP, led by the President of FEIP, Dr. Ria Lisa Sikanlas. We also have here the Secretary of FEIP, Engineer John Gabriel Dicena. The PRO of FEIP, Engineer Francis Dime. The Treasurer of FEIP, Dr. Custer Deocaris. And from the Board of Directors, Captain Estelito Perello and Mr. Paolo Centeno. And from the Department of Science and Technology, of course, our very own Secretary, Secretary Fortunato T. De La Peña. Thank you, sir. Our Undersecretary for Research and Development, Dr. Rowena Cristina El Guevara. Our Director of the Industrial Technology Development Institute, Dr. Annabel Bibriones. Our Deputy Director for Research and Development, Dr. Christine Marie Simontesa. Our Deputy Director for Administrative and Technical Services and the Officer in Charge of the Planning and Management Information Systems Division, Dr. Sarai Daviang. The Officer in Charge of the Material Science Division, Ms. Josepina R. Celorico, and to all ITDI and PMSD staff and all the staff of FEIP and the universities joining us here today. Of course, this would not be complete without the messages from our partners. They will be the one uh, cooperating with us on this collaborative undertaking in promoting FEA in the industry and the academe. To begin, the messages from our partners is the president of Fiati University, please welcome Dr. Adolfo Jesus R. Gopes. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I will call upon our Director of Research and Development and our College of Engineering Dean, uh, Dr. Rogelio A. Panmasigi, uh, to give our message of support because Roger is much closer to the action and, of course, would be more aware of the details uh, that we have, that we bring to the parade. So, Roger. Okay. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. On the behalf of Dr. Gopez, I'd like to thank you all for uh, inviting uh, us to this very important event. I'd like to acknowledge the presence of none less than the Secretary of the OST, Honorable uh, Fortunato de la Peña, the President of uh, National University, Dr. Renato Carlos Armita, and uh, other officials of the university, the Director of ITDI, Dr. Annabel Briones, and uh, staff, you know? and from uh, our Crati University, our CEO and Vice Chairman, Mr. Francisco Segovia. Again, a pleasant afternoon to everyone. We are here today to witness a very important event which we have been working on for years now. This is also a fruit of uh, DOST's Balik Scientist Program Engagement. And we have here our Balik Scientist Engineer Vicente Reyes. Catherine University has been pushing hard to propagate the use of finite element analysis and engineering and other allied branches. And we see its benefit in our country. Uh, FEA or finite element analysis has been a proven and long existing technology used abroad. And we are all aware that we are somehow, somehow left behind you know, in the use of this technology. If you want to be more competitive, we believe that uh, finite element analysis, as well as other similar simulation technology, is a very important tool. The goal of our partnership is to share the technology with other institutions. This agreement will serve as an important step in achieving that goal. And we hope that soon it goes beyond what we have started here today. 
with this memorandum of understanding, we are looking forward to our future collaborations, including training and research projects. We also hope to expand this in the future to include other activities and other institutions. Finally, I'd like to extend our deepest appreciation to IDDI, where I also served uh, more than two decades ago for hosting this event. We are very much looking forward to working with you. Again, thank you very much and good afternoon to you all. Thank you, Dr. Pandasig and Dr. Gopes. And now, uh, let's hear another message from one of our partners. He is the president and the chief uh, executive officer of the National University. Please welcome Dr. Renato Carlos H. Ermita, Jr. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone, uh, especially to Secretary Fortunato de la Peña, uh, Yusek, uh, Christina, Dr. Cristina Guevara, to um, Director Annabel Briones, and um, to our and other officials from the OST, especially the ITDI. Likewise, uh, of course, to our partner institution, who we're very thankful for for inviting us to be part of the effort to promote FEA. Uh, Fiat University led by President Jess Gopez, uh, long time no see, President Jess. And of course, um, with the, I'd also like to greet uh, uh, Mr. Francisco Segovia and Dr. Pan, Pan, Palasigan, uh, Panasigi, Panasigi, sir. Good afternoon. And um, to officers of the uh, FEIP, uh, 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 FEAP, read, led by Dr. Ria Canlas, is very much uh, supported by our uh, Vice President for Research, uh, Dr. Rachel Rojas and her team, as part of the efforts for innovation and research in our university. And of course, the man of the hour, we would like, I would like to um, uh, Send my greetings to Dr. Vicente D. Reyes, uh, an outstanding uh, NU alumnus uh, who has led and has patiently pushed for the effort of promoting uh, uh, finite element analysis uh, in our schools and as a practice in the country. So welcome and nice to see you here, Dr. Reyes, Dr. D. Reyes. So in behalf of National University, we're very, again, thankful for being uh, invited to be part of the group uh, who are spearheading the efforts to accelerate the use of uh, finite element analysis in the country. And um, we would like to assure everyone that with the, uh, our, our uh, uh, efforts to uh, produce more graduates who are very much uh, capable, especially in the, in technically, and to be competitive with uh, uh, other uh, engineers or practitioners in the world. We are very much in support of um, our uh, of this initiative, and likewise, we feel that it is it has been very timely, and um, we are thankful to the OST for this for really pushing for this accelerated change or development, especially during this COVID-19 pandemic. We feel that uh, teaching and learning should continue. In fact, we feel that it's an opportunity to really leapfrog uh, the development of uh, engineering education, uh, technical education, uh, 
uh, during this during this time, no? and um, uh, we are happy uh, to work and looking forward to a very good collaboration between the DOST, uh, FIATI, of course the uh, uh, Finite Element and uh, uh, Institute of the Philippines, and of course National University. So thank you very much, and good afternoon to everyone. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Ermita. Now we've heard from our two partner academic institutions. They have underscored how important the uh, education highlight the, this importance uh, by marking it in this um, collaborative undertaking, by having them both as our partners. And now let us hear from from our partner industry association, from the Finite Element Institute of the Philippines, the president of FPIP, Dr. Ria Liza C. Canlas. Good afternoon, everyone, and especially to our Honorable Secretary Fortunato de la Peña and our Undersecretary Rowena Guevara, and to all the presidents and VIPs of National University and FIATI University, and of course, from the faculty of the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship of National University, who hosted our Balik Scientist, Engineer Vicente de Reyes. My personal journey using FEA simulation technique aided my technology, which is a DOST-funded project, prefabricated ecocouture panel system, in the determination of the needed mechanical properties for new materials, FEA was proven time and cost efficient solution or option in new product validation considering the lack of laboratory facilities and equipment in the country. From that day on, I subscribed with the idea of our guru, Engineer Vicente D. Reyes, to propagate the use of FEA simulation technology through the formation of an organization. All must know the benefits of FEA and all must have access to it. In 2019, the Finite Element Institute of the Philippines was born together with carefully selected pioneering board of officers who came from various, different, or various fields of expertise connected with different industry types, came from different age groups, and from varied qualities. FEIP will capitalize on these varied traits of the officers to reach to more people who will become members of the association. The members who are industries, academic institutions, professional, non-professional, and students will enjoy free and exclusive training plus discounted advanced training as well as referral to outsourcing jobs. Last September 6, we conducted the stakeholders meeting with targeted participants in crafting the FEA Philippines Roadmap. In the next five years, we wanted to focus on a very heavy membership drive, capacity building, advanced training, national and international presence, especially in the Southeast Asian region. Our organization remained dedicated in working on our vision and highlighting lobbying in the standardization and certification processes on the FEA technology practice. I'd like to thank Engineer Vicente D. Reyes, who is a National University alumni himself, for sharing his expertise, especially to fellow nationalians. Allow me also to thank our president, Dr. Ermit, Renato Ermita Jr., and of course, my boss, Vice President, Raquel, Rachel uh, Rojas for allowing us to host our BSP. Special thanks to Piatti University, especially to Mr. Francisco Segovia, the CEO and Vice Chairman of Piatti University, to its President, Dr. Gopez, and of course, to a dear mentor, Dr. Rahelio Palasige, for making all of this collaboration possible and for giving an office or a house for our organization. And lastly, we'd like to thank the OSD ITDI, Dr. Annabel Briones, who will pave the way to a very meaningful collaboration, thereby putting into reality the tripartite collaboration among academe, industry, and government. 
we at FEIP will continue to bridge the academe and the industry. Let us work together in the propagation of FEA technology to aid in the fourth industrial revolution through this collaboration. FEIP members and soon to be members will benefit from the sharing of knowledge, expertise, and especially resources. We look forward in the future where Filipinos can be at par with our foreign experts. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Canlas. And now let's hear from our Balik Scientist and FEA expert, Dr. Vicente D. Reyes. Sir. Hi. Good afternoon to everyone. Please allow me first to acknowledge our distinguished guest. Honorable Secretary Fortunato, Under Secretary Dr. Rowena Kibara, Dr. Annabel Priores, the President of all our institutions, and Dr. Renato Carlas, and guest, President of the Fiat University. With your full support, we were able to accomplish the endeavor that will make our country competitive. And to everyone who makes this possible, good afternoon. The purpose of this MOA is to make finite element analysis or FAA simulation the dominant tool for industry innovation. As such, I would like to share my academic and professional experience, both the successful and the unsuccessful and successful program so that we may learn from the successful process and avoid the mistakes that sometimes can be very expensive and catastrophic. Let me start with success stories. I bet whatever personal product you are using today, cell phone, laptop, air condition, cars, aircraft, railroad tra transportation, all of these employ the finite element simulation process before the companies went to the production of this product. I will also share you the mistake. So what we will not repeat this in our projects and product development. I'll give you an example like the Aloha Airlines Flight 243, April of 1988, where half of the fuselage was ripped off due to ignoring the effect of fracture in finite element simulation. While finite element simulation has far reaching impact on projects and product development, it can be very dangerous and sometimes fatal if we lack the knowledge or worse, abuse the utilization of finite simulation in our different products. These are products that when improperly developed could suffer failure like an aircraft and the consequence can be fatal. But if finite element simulation is properly done, we can be assured of saving a lot of time in achieving of our objective. In the case of the aircraft, proper use of finite element can mean safe and more comfortable customer experience. I have two, three proposals that I hope we can implement. My first proposal is for university to offer at least a year of finite element analysis courses, both in theory and simulation of typical product component system as part of their degree. My second proposal is for government to issue a standard practice or guidance of using finite element by like complying the good finite element modeling practice, finite element verification and validation. And the third proposal is for industries to support the academic by giving re them real parts to students for finance simulation and validate the results to obtain this cooperative between academic in this industry. These three proposals 
are already being practiced in industrial countries. In conclusion, I would like to give my sincere appreciation to Mr. Segovia for being the first to appreciate the value and benefit of finite element simulation. As manifested in the purchase of the necessary software for fiat students. And to be, be shared by the scientist program for giving me this opportunity in the platform to make our Pelican University aware of finite element simulation. And to all my Alma Mater National University for hosting me as my BSP in cultivating my younger mind in technology development. Thanks and may God bless all of us. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Vicente D. Reyes, our expert in the FEA and our Balik scientists, our very own Balik scientists. So um, uh, I think we could uh, proceed now to the uh, ceremonial signing of the memorandum of agreement, of understanding between ITDI, National University, Fiat University, and FEIP. May we ask our signatories of ITDI, Dr. Annabel Vibriones, uh, from the Fiat President, Dr. Adolfo Jesus R. Gómez, the President and CEO of National University, Dr. Renato Carlos H. Armita Jr., and the president of FEIP, Dr. Ria Liza Sikandas, to have your documents now ready. And uh, we could now proceed with the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding to promote and intensify the promotion of finite element analysis or FEA in the industry and the academy. We may proceed now, Madam sir. After you have signed your, the document, you may um, flash it and show it to your students so that we could have a, a ceremonial photo shoot of this, marking this collaborative undertaking, this tripartite uh, um, undertaking of the government, the industry, and the academy. Thank you, uh, Dr. Briones, Dr. Gopez, Dr. Ermita Jr., and Dr. Ria Canlas. Now, oh, um, maybe we could hear a, a few words from our dear uh, Undersecretary of uh, Research and Development. Dr. Rowena Cristina Guevara, ma'am, would you like to say a few words to our partners? Magandang hapon. I see uh, my first encounter at DOST, Dr. Roger Pandasige, uh, my colleague at the UP College of Engineering, President Jess Gopez, of course, a uh, donor of the UP College of Engineering, uh, Fritz, hello, uh, Segovia. Good afternoon. And of course, uh, the president and CEO of uh, NU, uh, President Ermita, and the officials of NU and um, Piatti. Of course, I would like to say hello to my colleagues at DOST, Dr. Annabel Briones, and the deputies of ITDI, and the researchers and scientists of uh, DOST ITDI. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Nakakatuwang makakita ng ganitong klase ng pagsasalo-salo 
meeting of minds ng academe, industry at sa government. Ito po ang ating kailangan uh, dahil sa panahon ngayon hindi na pwedeng kanya-kanya, akin-akin, inyo-inyo. Kailangan talaga magtulong-tulungan tayo. At siyempre, ang naging catalyst ng lahat ng ito ay ang ating balik scientist. Um, gusto ko pong uh, magpugay sa ating balik scientist na siya po ang maingat at dandahan po niyang pinasok itong finite element analysis dito sa Philippines at uh, nakipag-partner po siya sa mga universities at siyempre po sa government, sa DOST by becoming one of our uh, balik scientists. Alam po namin na ang pagiging balik scientist, ang tawag nga po namin dyan ay balik puso, balik Pilipinas, balik scientist. At hindi po lahat ng nagbabalik scientist ay ganito po kadami ang nagiging achievement. Uh, kaya po uh, hinahangaan po namin si uh, Torea sa kanyang paggawa ng mga ganitong bagay para mapalaganap po ang uh, finite element analysis. Uh, so Dr. Vicente D. Reyes, maraming salamat po. At uh, natutuwa kami na palagay ko na naipanganak tong ano eh, Finite Element Institute of the Philippines dahil kay uh, Dr. Vicente D. Reyes. Tama po ba? Yes daw, sabi ng mga taga-FEIP. So, ganyan po ang, eka nga eh, para siyang bato na nilagay sa isang uh, body of water, nagkaroon ng repo, tapos nakaproduce ng napakadaming bagay. Maraming salamat po, uh, Dr. Vicente D. Reyes, sa inyong pagiging isang balik scientist na talaga naman po pinakita ninyo, science makes change happen. At we expect that with the partnership between DOST, ITDI, PIAT, and the NU, na magkakaroon naman po siguro ng effect sa ating industries na instead of building something, they will learn to simulate things first. Um, yan po mahirap ituro yung ganyang konsepto na maniniwala ba ako sa simulation sa computer? Pero yan po ang challenge natin sa partnership na ito sa ITDI, sa NU, at saka sa FIATI, at saka sa FEIP na palaganapin po ninyo itong teknolohiya na ito dahil malaki po ang matitipid ng Pilipinas hindi nagkakamali at ginagawan muna ng simulation sa finite element analysis. Muli, maraming salamat po sa inyo. Congratulations at magandang agham po sa ating lahat. Magandang agham po, uh, Yusek Guevara. Maraming salamat po for gracing this event and joining us in this uh, momentous occasion. Um, let us all, uh, I'm inviting everyone to open your cameras so that we, we will have our uh, ceremonial photo shoot of all the uh, attendees of this um, event. Okay, po, uh, just have the tech team uh, ready to, to capture. So, I think, um, just have your cameras open, just smile, kasi hindi natin alam kung saan panel po tayo lalabas dito sa Zoom. Ayan, kita po pala natin. So, kita nyo po ang inyong mga smile. Ayan po, ang ating mga experts from the OSD ITDI ang ating mga um, experts then from partner universities and from our partner institution, ang ating mga executives from the different institutions, National University, Fiat University, FEIP, and the OST. Right, I, I, I guess we're okay na. Maraming, maraming salamat po sa ating tech team for this. And now to uh, formally uh, close this program, let, uh, let me uh, give the virtual floor to our uh, Deputy Director for Research and Development of the Industrial Technology Development Institute, Dr. Christine Marie C. Montesa. Dong Marie? Yes, thank you, Andrew. A pleasant afternoon to everyone. I, I would like to take this opportunity to thank each and everyone for being part of this uh, co collaborative effort to promote finite element analysis and its application to the different sectors of our society. On behalf of the DOST, Industrial Technology Development Institute, we are honored to have this memorandum of understanding with the Fiat University headed by 
Dr. Copes with the National University, headed by Dr. Ermita Jr., and the Finite Element Institute of the Philippines, represented by Dr. Canlas. Of course, we are also very much honored to receive a message from our, from our very own DOST Secretary, Fortunato de la Peña, and very much thankful for the presence of our uh, Undersecretary for R&D, Dr. Rowena Cristina Guevara. And thank you for all the help to, from our Balik Scientist and FEA expert, Dr. Vicente D. Reyes. Thank you very much no, for all the wonderful and very heartfelt uh, uh, support uh, from, the from the messages of our uh, partners. This MOU is indeed uh, timely and complementary to the R&D activities of the MATDEV Laboratory or the Materials Development Laboratory as the FEA technology can be utilized in the development of materials for product design and prototyping using uh, 3D printing. MATDEV is under the ITDI Material Science Division with uh, Ms. Josefina Sidorico as the OIC, Engineer Maria Dito Margarito as the project leader, and Dr. Blessy Basilio as the RD lead for this initiative in FEI from MATDEV. With this uh, MOU, FEA simulation will be utilized to facilitate materials development and design, coupled with actual fabrication and prototyping, and as well as validation of virtual testing with real-world test results. We are very excited to the future activities, including training and capacity building on FEA, as well as uh, computational fluid dynamics. Uh, we're also uh, very much uh, excited on the actual design and simulations, testing, and improvement on different prototypes for biomedical applications, construction, automotive, and even on the membranes. Likewise, the use of FEA will be an additional technical service from DOST ITDI on materials development and design improvement. On our end, these are but a few benefits that we can take advantage of by using FEA. On the national level, this partnership with the FIATI, NU, and FEIP could provide an avenue for training, research, innovation, commercial decision, and other industry-based activities that could benefit students, trade people, professionals, and the government, and of course, the rest of the society. Moreover, outputs from this partnership could also attract international linkages thereby enhancing our capabilities and competitiveness, leveling the playing field in terms of design and innovation. Although we have a long way ahead, may we all work and strive together towards this goal of being competent in FE technology and let the output technologies be utilized by the industries. May this partnership be fruitful and bring success in our home institute your universities and organization. Uh, with that, I would like to congratulate everyone for the success of this virtual MOU signing. And I'm very happy to be part of this uh, great event for our industry. Thank you everyone and let's have a good day and stay safe. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Justine Mari uh, C. Montesa. All right, now, that uh, formally ends this uh, ceremonial MOU signing. I just like to again thank all our partner, partner in the partner academe and industry association, our partner from the National University, our partner uh, Fiat University, our partner Finite Element Institute of the Philippines. Mula po sa deal. at sa DOSD ITDI maraming pagsama sa amin tungo dito sa ating uh, um, partnership na ito. And I uh, would like to thank again our Undersecretary Yusek uh, Guevara for being with us here today. Again, this has been the, your host for this afternoon. I'm Roland Andrew Cruz. Maraming maraming salamat po at mag-iingat po ang lahat. Gandang hapon po. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Thank you, Gib. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all.